changing criterion. Oh, shit, I did not want that accent. Sometimes the accents just pop in, folks. And I suppose you could establish a changing criterion design to reduce the frequency of the use of my accents. Ha, ha, hint, hint, wink, wink, nod, nod, because that's the title of this video. Changing criterion designs. It's where you start out with a behavior at a particular level and you set a new criteria for it. And you reinforce people when they achieve that particular criteria. You can go up, you can go down, it doesn't matter. Let's say I'm smoking 24,000 cigarettes a month. Actually, let's just do 24 a day, okay? Just 24 cigarettes a day. That's fine. It's a little more than a pack, right? Um, so I'm smoking a bunch of cigarettes a day, and I work on uh, trying to reduce my cigarette smoking, and we could set a very achievable goal, like 23. <laughs> and we could achieve that 23 per day, and we could reinforce that. And then you could set it at 20 and reinforce that, and set it at 18 and reinforce that, and so on and so forth. And you change the criteria until you get it to the level that you want it at, and you slowly change the criteria again, right? And you just get it down to maybe zero or something like that. You could go the other direction. The number of words spoken in a one-minute long video started out with just about 5,000 words, and now we got it up to about 12,000 words. But why? Because we used a changing criterion design. So changing criterion. Change the criteria to, meet, uh, to earn the reinforcers and change the frequency, rate, whatever, of the behavior.